Here's some help on assignment six. Question one. They start you off with a code snippet that looks like this, and they want you to produce a picture that looks like this for the first of four questions. So the reason why you have to write the word first on the first line is because it is the first question. So now let's understand what each of these lines of code means, and then you'll be able to customize it so that you'll get this picture. And then the second one is a big rectangle. Third one is uh, an upside down rectangle and stuff like that. So here's what we're dealing with. On this first line, we've got the letter I, which is a variable that is going to count and take on a different value for every line that it loops through. So I in range three, this three tells me how many lines it's going to loop through. So do this, do this loop three times. Now here's the tricky part. We like to count the first thing with a number one and the second thing is the number two and the third thing is the number three. But we invented computers and they think the first thing is the zero thing and the second thing is number one and the third thing is number two. So as we're asking the computer to count through the values for i, the first value for i is actually going to be zero while we see what happens on the first line. So just keep that in mind that we're dealing with this discrepancy between how humans count and how computers count. So now we're going to do something three times. We'll have three lines. And on each of those lines, we're going to do this loop. And now I've got a different variable that's going to also count, but it's going to count and keep repeating on the same line until it gets through this number of repeats. Uh, how does that, what is that, huh? Um, that means that if you ran this code, you actually get this picture. Something with three stars, then something with two stars, then something with one star, and it only had three lines. So this was line zero, line one, and line two. However, we like to think of it as the first line, the second line, and the third line. Well, how did it do this thing three times on the first line, this thing twice on the second line, this thing once on the last line? Here's how. I is equal to zero the first time we run this. So now every time you see I, please say zero. Okay, ready? On each line, please do something three minus I times. Okay. I said I, you said zero, I, zero, I, zero, good. So three take away zero is three. Okay, so on that line, on that very first line, on line zero, we're going to do this thing three times because we said three take away zero is how many repeats we want. And here's what we're going to repeat on line zero, star, and then space. And how many times are we going to repeat that? three. So we get this picture, star space. That was one. Then it checks again, star space. Okay. That was my second repeat, second time through star space, third time through. So we say third time through, it says, aha, I'm up to a J value of, or a J value of two. And as soon as I get to the this number, three take away zero is three. As soon as I get to the three, I'm done. I'm not doing the third. When I get to the third, that's my stop sign. So now we get it to the point where we did zero, one, and two in here, and we get to the stop sign. So now it says, okay, don't do that. Do the next line that's at the same indent level, which is print a an empty double um, quote. So there's actually no anything. There's no space. There's no nothing in between these two quotes, which equals a, like as if you had typed the word enter, or type the key enter on your keyboard, or we used to, maybe we still do call this a carriage return. 
because of typewriters. Okay, well anyway, um, now it's finished all of this. Hey, on line, on the first line, or line zero, here's what you do, this stuff. Now we're finished with this. Now we go back and say, all right, second line, which the computer is gonna call I equals one. And now we're gonna do on the line I equals one, which is the second line, we're gonna do this thing. So on that line, we're gonna say three take away one, that's two. So now two for do this thing right here, this print thing two times, star space, star space. Yep, got it. So it repeated that twice. So the value in here was a two. When it got to the two value, because this is the first value it takes, this is the second value it takes, it saw the two and it said no more. And then it gave you a carriage return, bumping you down to the final line which we say is the third line, the computer counts it as line number two. So now here we go. I equals two, because when I equals three, we're not gonna run the program again. So now I've done line zero, line one, and now I'm on line two. On that line number two, I'm gonna do this thing three minus two times. Well, three minus two is one. So I'm gonna print star and then a space, and then I'm done. I jump out of this J loop into this one, which is the carriage return, which is the end of my I loop. And now it goes back again and checks. All right, I is now three. Ah, that's a three. That's where I'm gonna stop. So then the program is done and all you get is this picture with three lines. So don't be fooled by seeing the number three here and thinking, oh yeah, three lines. No, no, no. It means we're gonna count the zero, the one and the two, and we're gonna stop when we hit the three. So take a look at these results. When I run this program exactly the way we were talking about, it gives me this output. But the picture that you were trying to draw has a right side up triangle and it has way more than three lines. So how do we make that happen? Let's edit what we've got to see if we can make it match the object or the objective in question number one. All right, we know we need to write the word first first. So let's start that print first. And let's run it. Okay, got it. You can change the case uh, to be uh, uppercase. And then we know we need more than three lines. So let's change this to be the number 10. Because why? Because we're starting at zero and we're going from zero to nine. And when we hit the 10, we stop everything. Okay. So if I just change the 10, what happens? <sighs> Nothing happens because we, the computer and just like we do, we don't like to count negative things. So this would be for J in range three minus zero, three minus one, three minus two. So that was three minus zero, three minus one, three minus two, then three minus three is actually zero. So it's saying for this line, print something zero times. Print the star in the space zero times. Ooh, I did a great job with that. Then it loops again, three minus four is negative one, print the star and the space negative one times. Well, the computer actually doesn't, do that. We can't print negative stuff and we can't count negative people. So you don't see anything different. But what if we change the three to a 10? Hmm. Ooh, pretty, but not what we're looking for. So we actually want the line number to match the number of times we're doing the star and space for each of those lines. So that means that if I'm starting on line zero, zero out of nine or the first of 10, I wanna have one star followed by one space show up on that line. Okay, so if I is equal to zero, how do we get a one to be the number of repeats? Well, let's see what happens if we just match these up. So now I'm gonna do something 
10 for 10 lines after I print the word first, then it's going to use those same values that we had for I, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here, when we tell it on the first line, which is line 0, do the following print command the same value of times. So I is actually 0. So how do you print a star and a space 0 times? <laughs> Easy. It's a blank. So now when we go for I equals one, which is the second line, J equals one. So, or since I equals one, now this is going to print J number of times, which is one time. So print the star in the space one time on the second line. Got it. But that's not the right answer. How do you change what's here to get rid of this first blank space? Well, if you're going in the same order, of the line number and the lines are numbered 0 through 9 you want one more than the line number for the how many times do I print a star in a space right okay so I'm gonna cut this video off here and you have to figure out what you need to do to make this whole shape start on line 0 instead of starting on line Okay, good luck.